Hello. <laughs> oh, why are you laughing? <laughs> oh, well, a funny story uh, from my sister. Why? What happened to Anne? <laughs> why? When you talk, it's uh, apple juice. Actually, it's apple wine. Oh, and then what happened? Well, her friend drink it and no wonder why. Oh. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay, ha and be careful next time. <laughs> okay, hello, Nee. Good evening. How are you? I'm great. Oh, that's good to hear. How was your day today? Um, it's great. Great. Okay. How was the weather? It's rain. It's raining today? Yeah, it's been raining this day. Oh, so thankfully here it doesn't rain like the past few days like it's been raining but now the weather's good <laughs> so and now there it's raining <laughs> oh okay so just make sure that you don't get wet <laughs> don't get out don't go outside all right so what did you eat for dinner tonight um i eat pasta <laughs> Pasta, wow, my favorite. Pasta and what else? Just pasta. Oh, wow. No rice, just pasta. That's good. Oh, I've been uh, talking about pasta. I've been craving to eat pasta. Maybe I'll have tomorrow. <laughs> All right. So what did you do today? Did you play? Yeah, I play, I study, and I read some books. Wow. What kind of book is that? <laughs> um, novel and the science book. Novel and a science book. Wow. All right. So hmm, since you love science, so we will now continue with our lesson. Okay. So this lesson tonight is quite exciting because... It's about um, natural disaster. <gasps> wait for a minute. Okay, wait. <laughs> I'll just make this screen bigger. Okay, there you go. So tonight, we will continue with your lesson about um, disaster or uh, disaster. Okay, so last Tuesday, you learn about the story. This is the continuation of the story of the time traveler. So, again, the three of them, we call them as the time traveler. Okay, so the three of them, they are time traveler. They can travel um, from the past. And maybe as we go through the story, we will learn... Um, if they can travel to the future. Okay, so now let's continue with your lesson. So here. Okay, so here. Um, this is... Read the text from a news website and then write true or false. Okay, so this is just um, like to test um, how far you know about natural disaster, okay? So let's try to answer this one before we learn what is a natural disaster. Okay, number um, here, read it, um, number one. So write T if it's true and F if it's false. Okay, so we have it here. Natural disasters can happen all over the world. True. Okay, yes, that's correct. It's true. So natural disaster, it means that it's natural. It's not man-made, okay? 
it can happen anytime, anywhere, around all, or all over the world. Okay? Natural comes from the word nature. Okay, nature. Natural disaster. Okay, now how about number two? Scientists oh. can stop weather disasters from happening. Okay, so this one is basically false. No one can stop weather disasters from happening. Okay, no one can stop that. Can you stop a flood, a flash flood? No. Okay, can you stop an earthquake? No, even scientists cannot do that. Okay, so it's false. All right, now how about number three, please read. Um, scientists can warn us about volcanoes, but not about earthquake shakes. It's false. Okay, so scientists can warn us about volcano, but not about earthquake, okay? So this one is false, okay? So scientists can warn us about volcanoes, but not earthquakes. So this one is true because we cannot or we, we don't know when earthquake will happen. No one knows, okay? Not even scientists. They cannot predict when will an earthquake happening, what place, what country, okay? But they can warn us about volcanoes because they can, um, they can see that one. Uh, for example, the volcano is active and the volcano is somehow like trying to like erupt. They can warn us about that, but not earthquake. It's a natural disaster. Okay, good. How about number four? Please read. Most often, cause of damage is true. Okay, so floods often cause lots of damage. Yes, this one is true. Okay, so if you're if you've seen um the news, I think. That was like in some European country. Um, like recently, um, there's um a flash flood, like a flood all over the city. Okay, just yeah. give me a moment. Did you see that news? Yes, I hear the news. Oh, uh, what country is that? I forgot. Well, same. Wait for a minute. Oh, it's in. Where is this one? We'll just we'll just look look through it later. I forgot, but uh, but I've seen it um all over the news. Like um, there's a lot of people died already because of that flood. Okay, so it's true that floods often cause lots of damage. Okay, number five, please read. Weather and people can cause forest fires. Okay, so weather it's and true. people can cause forest fires. Okay, so this one is true. Okay, so I remember last Tuesday, you asked me about forest fires. So did you look through it in the internet? Yes. Yeah. Okay, very good. So that's good. So at least now you already know what forest fires mean. Okay, and if you look through it, you can see that there's this forest fire, I think, in Turkey. Yeah, like last week. Yeah, I think there's a fire in Turkey. Well, I don't know about that news. Mm -hmm. Wait for a minute. Okay, here. I think this is it. Okay, so I, I, this happened last week. 
Yeah, this one. I want you to look at this one. So this happened last week in Turkey. Okay, look at the forest. Oh my God. Yeah, so it really is true. Okay, look. This is what you call forest fire. It's really, um, it's really sad because, you know, trees are very important to us. It help, it gives us oxygen to breathe. So if in this case, all of, all of the forest um, will be gone, then I don't know what will happen. Also, I think that was in, Twenty twenty. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this is not the one. Oh. <laughs> yes, this one. I think this is twenty twenty, like last year. This is the Amazon forest. This is the largest forest in the world. So what? this is the home of um a lot of animals. So it's it's so sad. Look, this is what this is the actual picture of it, like outside Earth. A scientist took a picture of this. So as you can see, this part is full of fire. Okay, as you can see, green. It's full of of trees. It's so sad. <laughs> Okay, yeah. so natural disasters can happen and it's very sad when it happens. Oh. Okay, so so much for that. Let's now continue. Okay, so that's it for a natural disaster. Okay, so here, uh, Amni, how much do you know about natural disasters? Hmm, how much do you know about natural disaster? I don't think I know too well <laughs> about that. Okay, so good because um um as you um you will learn this one at school. So at least now you already have a background what natural disaster is. Okay, so as you can see here, we have it here flood. <gasps> Look at the flood. Oh, hurricane. Oh, no. Earthquake, forest fire, and avalanche. So this one, let's start with flood. Okay, so as you can see, we cannot stop a flood from happening. Okay, it's a natural disaster. Okay, so um, all I can think of is... Um, if there are times that um, natural disasters happening, I can really think that maybe Mother Earth is just like giving us what we deserve because people nowadays, like they're not taking good care of our Earth. So maybe Mother Earth is trying to teach us lesson that um, not all things on earth, um, I mean, like, we should take good care of the earth. For example, we should not cut trees because trees can help us a lot in many ways, okay? Because trees can lessen flash flood and also trees give us, like, um, oxygen to breathe like it gives us uh, many things and then now as you can see um there are a lot of people who's been cutting down trees so i think maybe like mother earth i do believe that mother earth will really um 
give us a lesson so that we can wake up and think, oh, we should not do this because this is not good. Okay, so maybe there, um, this happened because they, they try to um, see, they, they want us to see what will happen in the future if we will totally destroy our earth. Okay, a lot more can happen than this. A lot more can happen than a flood, hurricane, earthquake, a forest fire, or avalanche. Okay, hurricane, do you know this one? Have you heard of this one? <clears throat> oh, no. No, okay, so hurricane is just like um, a wind, like, <laughs> I can't explain because um, it does, um, we don't have um, hurricane here. Hurricane yeah, truly has a really strong wind. Yeah, that's true. This oh. one, look at this. This is what it looks like outside. Oh, outside the earth. It's a strong wind. It can destroy a house like this. Mm -hmm. oh. Yes. Yeah, so. Yeah, it look it <laughs> look at this. It will totally destroy everything. Okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look, huh? Hurricane and a tornado. Oh. It's so it's so scary. Like I'm really scared of this one. Look. <laughs> oh. Yeah. If you're in the Philippines, like there's a lot of hurricane, like mostly at the end of the year. In the country you have this too. Yeah. We Asian countries mostly. We do have that one. Okay, so this is a hurricane. Oh look. Look what happened after a hurricane. Oh my god. Okay, so look. Hmm, look at that. It's a natural disaster. You cannot stop that one. Okay, you cannot say, oh stop, stop. No, you cannot. <laughs> it you cannot stop it. Okay, so that's a hurricane. Earthquake as well. Look what will happen to the road. Oh, I will let you see what happened to um in my province during the earthquake that I told you. It really destroyed. Wait for a minute. I think that was Hmm, here. Hmm, look what happened. So this one is really true. This is in my province, this one. During the earthquake that I told you about. This one. Look. <laughs> it There's really... so many people die in that earthquake. Yes, it's... <gasps> It's very um difficult for us to pass through because this is um a national road. So as you can see, only people can pass because the roads are broken. Look, it can. This one is true. Okay, so earthquake is quite dangerous as well. Oh, <laughs> so it's a natural disaster. Forest fire. Oh, you already know about forest fire. And then avalanche. Okay, so when we say avalanche, this is a snow or rock that fall. Okay, this, this can happen in snowy place, a place where it snows. Don't worry will not happen to us because it will not snow in Vietnam and in the Philippines. Yeah. 
Okay, this is, look. So it's dangerous as well because the snow from top of the mountain will go down and it will cover a house or it can bury you alive. So this is avalanche. Okay, it's a snow it's or tsunami. What? It's kind of look like a tsunami. Yeah, so, but tsunami is in the water, in the ocean. So this one is like snow. <laughs> so look, this is, look, oh. During, this is during avalanche disaster. Oh, look. This is what avalanche. Oh, look at that. The snow will cover you or bury you alive. Look. Oh. Yeah. It's really sad. This one. This is avalanche. Again, when we say avalanche. Okay, look at this one. The snow will fall down here. So that's avalanche. So usually this one will happen like in the US because it will snow there. <laughs> but to us, we but here in Asian country, we only have this one landslide. You we heard of that? Landslide. The land will slide because we don't have snow. Here, look. To us, like this one, this is landslide. Land from the mountain will slide down. This is landslide. Look, it's dangerous as well. This is in the Philippines. Yeah. It's real happening. Yeah. It's real. Look. This is in, in here in the Philippines. Okay, so since we don't have snow here, we'll just be careful with landslide. The land will slide. Okay. So that's it. So those are just some examples of natural disaster. Okay, so here, can you please read this one? So here, make sure your disaster is smart. The more you know, the better. Okay, so this is I mean, a very important lesson because this one is true. This is really happening now. So here, can you please read this one? Can you zoom in a little bit? Okay, sorry. Wait, <laughs> wait for a minute. Okay, there you go. Can you see? Yes. Okay, so can you please read that one? That natural disaster can, I mean, natural disasters happen all over the world and we cannot stop them from happening. Mm -hmm. The weather caused some disaster like thunderstorm, floods, hurricanes, and a Avalanche. avalanche avalanches avalanches scientists often know when where the disaster will happen okay. scientists have special equipment to watch volcanoes and earthquakes but it's hard to know when the disaster will happen that is why volcanoes and earthquakes cause a lot of damage mm -hmm. that's true <laughs> Sorry. Statistics show that floods are the most expensive natural disaster. <gasps> Why do you think so? Hmm? Why do you think that floods are the most expensive natural disaster? Well, I think it's volcanoes. <laughs> you think it's? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So how about next? 
They disease so that flows are the most expensive natural disaster. What? Forest fire. I sorry, sorry. What's the most expensive natural disaster? Um flows. Flood, okay. Continue, please. Forest fire can happen because of of lighting, but also because people are not careful and make a fire in very dry place. Appreciate okay. the 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 deadliest deadliest of all natural disaster because they kill more people each oh, year yeah. than in the disaster. Oh, it's really true. It's so, a good idea to find out what kinds of disaster can happen when you live, where you live. Mm -hmm. And when and people, people to choose to place a place to live, they should think about what disasters can happen. For example, people shouldn't build houses close to rivers if there is a danger of floods. Okay, so as you can see here, so this is from the statistics or from the scientists. So they said here that earthquakes are the deadliest of all natural disasters because they kill more people each year than any other disaster. And I do believe this one is true. Okay, earthquake is the deadliest. When it comes to flood, we can still pack our things and run and go to a higher place. Okay, so we can still prepare, but when you say earthquake, you cannot do anything about that because it will happen naturally. You cannot stop it. Um, asking me for a while. <laughs> What's happening? No, this sister. <laughs> Don't worry, Anne. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so we have it here, Anne. Um, it's a good idea to find out what kinds of disasters can happen where you live. Okay, so um, from now on, you should be careful and think of like, look at your surroundings and think like, what could possibly be um, a natural disaster that can happen where you live? Okay, and also it's very important when people choose a place to live, they should think about what disasters can happen. Okay, for example, people shouldn't build houses close to rivers if there is a danger of floods. Or people shouldn't build houses on top of the mountain because there might be a landslide or avalanche. Okay, so there's um, a lot of things to consider when it comes to um, here, natural disaster. So all you have to do is to be extra careful, be vigilant, and first and foremost, don't panic. Okay, think. <laughs> think of the things that you can do to avoid like any um, dangerous or critical harm, okay? All right, so since it's time already, <laughs> next week um, we will continue with this one and we will be talking more about natural disaster. This one is, um, this one is really true, like this is the actual, like what happened in this place. So you will learn that one in our next class next week, okay? Okay. Or not this sister. Why? Does Ni wanted to play with you now? 
Yeah, she wants to play card with me. Okay, this you can play now because we're done already. Okay, so thank you so much, Ni, for your time. And I'll see you again next week. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. <laughs>